speak in Arabic. Okay. I will speak in Arabic if you need the translation. وبنشكر اللي حضروا على التزامهم بالوقت وحضورهم حتى نبدا في الوقت وننهي في الوقت لانه نحتاج الى ان نعود مجددا الى الدار البيضاء بعد نهايه هذه الجلسه. سيكون عنوان هذه الجلسة الاستثمار في الشباب عنوان يفتح يعني قريحتنا جميعا للكلام وخاصة نحن في المنطقة العربية التي تحظى بمجتمعات شابة نسبيا وكذلك سيكون معنا النائب من سريلانكا الذي سوف يتكلم في الموضوع الخاص بتمكين المرأة والمساواة بين الجنسين فستكون جلسة متنوعة وجلسة غنية بمشاركاتكم نبدأها مع سعادة النائب شريف رحيم زادة عضو البرلمان التاجيكستاني سيتح... يس سيتحدث لمدة 15 دقيقة أرجو الالتزام بالوقت فلتتفضل to make my presentation in front of you. Uh, actually, I want to start uh, with thanking our uh, friends from Parliament of Morocco for warm welcome and hospitality. And I would like to thank our Japanese friends for supporting this uh, conference. And I represent uh, the lower chamber of the Parliament of the Republic of Tajikistan. And in my presentation, I would like to talk about the big and important work uh, being done by the government and the parliament of the, Taj uh, of the Republic of Tajikistan in order to increase the potential of uh, our youth and make it capable of meeting the, the most... No, no. It's work. I don't know. It's not working. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's working. Maybe I have to be more close. Uh, so in my presentation, I would like to talk about uh, the big important work being done by the government and the parliament of the Republic of Tajikistan in order to increase the potential of our use. Uh, and make it capable to uh, meet uh, the challenges of the our century. Uh, taking into account the topic of our session, I would like to focus on the long-term key challenges related to demographic trends and the areas of the government's work in order to address these challenges now. But of course, let me start uh, to give you a brief information about Tajikistan. So Tajikistan is a country in Central Asia and our neighbors are uh, Afghanistan, so you know situation in Afghanistan, and uh, about 40 years it's a war going on there, and it's all, always has some uh, impact on our uh, country, and we have from other side second uh, world economy, China, and also we have Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan from other side, and. Tajikistan is a country with uh, 9 million population and GDP growth is 7.3% uh, in 2018. And we are mostly uh, Sunni Muslims, but we have some uh, Shia Muslims, about 2% of the population is Ismailites, but we are together and we are uh, uh, trying to uh, keep situation all, always under control and uh, actually uh, Tajikistan uh, were part of Soviet Union uh, till 1991 and but after when we got our independence we were involved in civil war it uh, lasted for five years and uh, after we tried to uh, rebuild 
uh, our economy. And uh, starting from 2000, we are uh, actually have in, in, in average 7% of GDP growth per year. So uh, Central Asia is a rapidly growing region in terms of population. The number of dependents has been declined recently, but the population is still quite young. Countries of Central Asia are classified as countries with an early demographic uh, dividend. We are on the eve of the stage when countries reach the maximum uh, share of the working age population with less dependents, which will stimulate higher economic growth. And Tajikistan, of course, is no exception. Uh, key demography indicators prove that Tajikistan stands out, of, uh, out even against the Central Asia trends. Our population growth rate is higher by 50% and the birth rate by 25% than in Central Asia. So it uh, means uh, in compare with, with other countries of Central Asia. The share of the young population is above 50% on the first diagram to the left. Uh, on the other diagram to the right, you can see that Tajikistan has more than 130 young people under the age of 25 per 100 of working age. These indicators in Central Asia are much less. All above made conclusions are summarized in this uh, slide. Let me just emphasize the following. In the next decade, Tajikistan will face a constant and rapid growth of the working age population. However, unlike other countries, the number of dependents in our country will be kept very high for a long period of time. On this slide, it's clearly visible. Global trends indicate the reduction in the working age population. Central Asia has almost reached the maximum share of the working age group. And in the future for this indicator, uh, Oscillatory movement of growth and decline are expected. Contrary, Tajikistan will face a constant, fast, spiral growth of this group. It should be emphasized that the long-term development strategy of Tajikistan for the period up to 2030, initiated by our president, is clearly aware of the threats of our demographic development. Let me quote that statement from this strategy. If Tajikistan does not undertake certain efforts, the demographic window of opportunity will turn into a demographic threat window. This threat is dictated by a significant share of the young population, which is in the poverty line, has a high unemployment rate, has a low literacy rate, and especially in the field of IT technologies. On the slide, you can see the latest uh, data describing these facts. Aware of this, the government uh, respond to these threats by creating a, an appropriate strategic, institutional, and legislative framework that aims and, at increasing the level of investment to use human capital. Uh, state institutions represent use at all levels the president, the government, and the parliament. But importantly, the Youth Council was created under the president. So voice of youth is heard uh, at the highest level by the president. And you see in this uh, slide all different uh, structures, government structures uh, dealing with youth policy. As follows from the slide, the government has created significant strategic, programmatic, and legislative framework for youth development. It's important that thanks to this framework, government provides significant assistance to youth through various tools. For example, the government gives grants for public associations of youth. The president gives presidential scholarship to young students. It should also be noted that awards named after Ismaili Somoni for young scientists for outstanding work in the field of uh, science and technology also provided. The current uh, program for the social development of youth sets a number of priorities that are directly related to investing into youth. 
each of these uh, priorities has specific program activities. Let me not uh, list them, but rather focus on some of them. In uh, employment and social security for use, the implementation of the SDG principle, leaving no one behind, is extremely important for our government. Therefore, inclusiveness is one of the priorities. It's very important for us to streamline migration process for young people uh, because for a long time, Tajikistan occupied the first place in terms of remittances to GDP from migrants. Therefore, creating effective conditions for migrants is one of the priority tasks. On our task is to create our supreme task is to create a new social value among young people, a healthy lifestyle. It's essential not to turn all this into a routine. Therefore, the peers themselves are the main uh, transmission link of health. The government supports the mechanism of the peer-to-peer -peer as one of the key mechanisms for promoting a healthy lifestyle. Speaking about education, I would like to mention about our effort for providing uh, modern, high quality and competitive education for youth and promoting youth education through the formation of an informal education service and the use of the latest methods of uh, distance education and interactive learning. Uh, last but not least, our priority is uh, the creation of conditions for achieving economic independence of youth. Here, the government carries out significant reforms on improvement of business environment, including reforms of the tax system, registration of the enterprises, simplification of uh, the licensing system, as well as targeted support of youth entrepreneurs, training them, providing funds, and supporting startups. The country is experiencing problems with the full financing of the expenditures uh, commitments. However, despite uh, of these difficulties, we continue to allocate funds to support youth programs. Tajikistan is a young country with this uh, small economy and small budget. Therefore, we always have a problem with financing uh, programs, including programs uh, dealing with the U implementation of youth policy. And of course, we are also working with uh, international organizations, but still uh, there is not enough uh, funds to finance all programs uh, and to support youth people. Therefore, we have uh, many migrants abroad, uh, maybe uh, more than one and a half million from nine million of population. Uh, and every year it's increased about uh, 70,000 to 100,000. And in, in conclusion, let me introduce you with some of the targeted goals in the next decades, decade. The most important thing is that we must uh, completely uh, solve the problem of extreme poverty, significantly re reduce general poverty, as you see, According to our national strategic program, we have to decrease uh, the level of poverty from 27.4% now to 15% in 2030. And uh, also, uh, we have to advance the education of uh, young people and create jobs opportunities. Uh, and of course, with this way, we have to get demographic dividends. Uh, we have, uh, for, for the moment, we have about uh, average number of years of schooling, about 10 years. And by 2030, we have to go to 12. And also, uh, index of gender inequality has to be reduced to 50%. So uh, with that, I would like to finish my presentation. Thank you very much for your uh, attention and <clears throat> Thank you. Shukran, Sayyid Sharif, for the attention to the time. Shukran for the presentation, the clear and clear.
قبل أن أعطي الكلمة للسيد هكتور عضو البرلمان من سريلانكا أود أن أقول أن أننا في الوطن العربي وحسب تقرير تقرير اليو ان دي بي لدينا من 15 نسبة الذين أعمارهم من 15 إلى 29 عام 105 مليون شخص بنسبة تتجاوز الثلاثين بالمئة في الأردن نسبة من هم بين الخمسة عشر عام والتسعة وعشرين عام هي ثمانية وعشرين بالمئة حيث أن عددهم أكثر من مليونين وسبعمائة ألف شخص في الأردن وتشير التقارير إلى أنه في الأردن أكثر شيء يعاني منه الشباب هو البحث عن فرص العمل أو عدم التمكين الاقتصادي سأعطي الكلمة الآن لسعادة النائب هكتور The floor is for you. And uh, what he will talk about in the meeting of the the day of the day. He will talk about the women Please. Thank you, Chair Honorable uh, Wafa Bani Mustafa. I think it's correct. Yeah. And uh, other honorable members of parliament, and also actually here the other officials are APDA, IAPPD, and ICPD. Also, I want to thank uh, Japan and Morocco parliaments and others here. So I think uh, this is little uh, big. Uh, I have to move. Uh, uh, it's more than, I think, 15 minutes, but uh, I try to make uh, uh, for the 15 minutes. The, I have to, my topic is uh, different. I think uh, as a change, uh, it will be a uh, woman's empowerment, gender equality, and universal access to SRH. So I have to uh, talk about the Sri Lanka first. The Sri Lanka, formerly Ceylon, island country lying in the Indian Ocean. The country has been divided into nine provinces and uh, subdivided into 25 districts. A physical environment, a wide ranging uh, diversity, makes Sri Lanka one of the world's most scenic countries. So, rank among 189 countries, it is a uh, place is 76th, and the GDP growth rate is 3.2%, uh, and poverty headcount index, that is, that is poverty rate, is 4.1%. Uh, and unemployment rate uh, is 4.4 percent. Population is 20.7 million. And uh, uh, population uh, density, 346 percent per square kilometer. And growth rate is uh, on the population is 1 percent. And uh, dependency Ratio is 49% uh, for male population is 9.7 million. I think uh, the women are happy. Female population is 11 million. And uh, number of households 5.4 million. Uh, percentage of female headed household is 25%, uh, 25.8%. So normally 79% Buddhism and 12% Hindu and 10 percent Muslim and 9 percent Christians are there. So what is the uh, women's empowerment? I think I, I, I have no time. I don't uh, uh, tell about that because everybody knows, I think. So uh, why need a woman empowerment? There is a uh, honorable, uh, that means His Excellency, uh, former President Barack Obama says, there is no tool for development for more effective than the empowerment of women. And Mr. Kopianan said that the Secretary of uh, General UN, empowering women is key to building a future we want. I believe that a healthy society is only possible when its women are financially and socially stable. Empowered women can make choices and take decisions. They can raise healthy children to establish run and maintain successful household 
when they can do this they are the bedrock of the healthy society to sri lankan woman i i i uh, i think i will i will uh, give the i think i can't uh, continue this uh, program this I, one, I, I, i will mumkin hada yisaadu bil slide can you support for me this one thank you very much for you always always helping me ever <laughs> yeah no what's it? okay this uh, consultant of sri lanka this is not yours yeah my 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 one is correct this one here this here this one yeah sure yes so can you see the sri lanka now yeah 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 Please. okay okay you, you can help me you can help me yes yes sir thank you very much about that this can go more more this is jordanian help <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you about the jordanian uh the constitution of sri lanka the constitution of sri lanka deems that women are equal citizen entitled to the all the privilege that men can avail themselves of article 12 constitution 12 shows that all persons are equal before the law and are entitled to the equal protection of the law furthermore no citizen shall be dis- discriminated against on the ground of race religion language caste sex political opinion place of birth or or any such grounds next the women's chamber of industry and commerce sri lanka wcic this is most uh, important things in sri lanka the women's chamber of industry and commerce in sri lanka that means wcic was initiated in 1985 a group of visionaries their main objective being to incorporate women entrepreneurs into the mainstream of business activity in the country it is known to be that wcic was in fact the first women only trade chamber to be set up in sri lanka and the first in the world the original founder members who financial contribution membership fee enable the wcic to set up fund which was then supported by asia foundation and the united states agency for international development the us us aid the wcics priorities are to harness their members economic power in the country gaining recognition and improving their lives while stimulating the socio economic growth in its history wcic and create many innovative projects such as the i think uh, there is a big uh, uh, one uh, i don't like to say i will uh, uh, send you the all uh, copy of this uh, my speech that is i think uh, we can manage the time okay field sri lanka women had achieved remarkable progress in many fields such as business politics and education for example in 2017 out of 30668 under graduates admissions to the state universities 19107 were female there is most uh, uh, valuable things for the women women make uh, indispensable contribution to the sri lankan economy the migrant workers play a important uh, role in the regard they are mainly employed in the west asia and the some in countries like south korea cyprus and singapore Sri Lanka received remittances over US 7 billion in 2018 from that. In the plantation sector too, women play the significant role. They work hard uh, in tea states in the ho- cold hill areas. Total earning from the tea exports registered uh, uh, US dollars 1.43 billion in 2018. One of the largest industries that uh, utilize a strong female workforce is the apparel sector which provides uh, direct employment opportunities to nearly 300,000 women sri lanka apparel industry earned uh, us dollars 5.32 uh, 5.32 billion in 2018 in the business field sri lanka women have been very successful not only in major companies and industries but also in small and medium scale enterprises they have achieved uh fast uh, progress 
Some of them had established giant apparel and garment business, electronic media companies, and major household equipment importing agencies. The number of women entrepreneurs and decision makers is an economy as important indicator with respect to the gender-related policies. As per the uh, data of economic uh, census, reveals that 25% of establishment are headed by females and out of total SME groups. The highest representation of female are in micro scale establishment. They are mostly engaged in trade, manufacturing, and agro-based industries. So uh, I think uh, there are how many minutes more? Oh, I, th I think can manage maybe, sure. Barriers to economic empowerment. A limited job opportunities for rural women, no flexibility for urban women. Even though there are scores of un unemployment women who are willing to work in rural areas, there are only few job opportunities for them at the, their village. Many of them engage in a family business and farming without payment. As they have no other choice, Men, they, uh, men from rural communities overcome these problems relatives easily by migranting to urban areas where jobs are available. However, limitation in mobility, uh, familial responsibilities, and safety concerns prevent women, particularly married women and those with young children, from leaving their villages to search for jobs. On the other hand, when it comes to urban women, finding a job is not a difficult task, but married women with children from urban areas are cons concerned about the lack of flexibility, available job opportunities, and their difficulties balancing the job requirements and familial, familial responsibilities. Rural women lack physical access to markets. All women need better negotiation skills. Regardless of gender, those in rural areas have difficulty uh, accessing markets. They find it challenging to sell their products at the fair price due to the heavy dependency on intermediaries. And failure to establish reliable channels in essential markets. Women in these communities are even more disadvantage than their male counterparts. Women find it more difficult to transport their products to the urban areas and are uh, pushed around uh, more when it comes to the negotiation. Comparatively, women from urban communities do not face such difficulties in accessing markets, but they also lack negotiation skills, which is essential to effective markets Excess. Both rural and urban women lack financial literacy. There are many loan schemes operated by various parties in all parts of the Sri Lanka. However, due to tight requirements, the banks and other uh, financial organizations, example, providing collect, uh, collaterals, finding state employees and guarantees, the microfinance organizations are prepared more of them target, uh, most of target them women with special loan schemes. However, most of the community members from rural as well as urban sectors are of the opinion that these loan schemes are not helping women improve their economic status, but are a trap that weakness women's economic advancement. Uh, the situation has been arisen due to the lack of financial literacy and financially management skills of women. Rural women lack access to training opportunities. Urban women lack knowledge on training opportunities. Acquiring uh, the recognized vocational training qualifications is an important starting point obtaining a good job or in starting a business. However, rural women find it difficult to attend such programs owing a lengthy travel time to transport costs as most of the vocational training programs are conducted in urban areas. On the other hand, urban women lack knowledge in, in information about such programs. Next is strategies for
for overcome the barriers. It is important to uh, use different strategies when addressing the issues faced by women from different settings. The more opportunity is more flexibility. For women in rural areas, the availability of job opportunities is the priority. It is a suggested setting at the industries and close areas, using the resource available in the villages to create more job opportunities, especially for women, work options such as flexible, uh, flexible working hours and working from home can be introduced for women from urban areas. So better access, smarter negotiation. Rural women are mostly engaged in agriculture and self-employment and therefore effective market access uh, is uh, crucial to selling their products at a reasonable price. It is proposed establishing collecting centers in village levels and uh, directly involving the government to buy the produce, uh, the facilities, markets, access. Attention should be given the developing negotiation skills of both rural and urban women is that has been shown that men tend to achieve better economic results in negotiation than women. Better management and understanding of finance. Though loan schemes offered by different institutions have winded uh, credit access opportunities for women, women's uh, navigate about financially and credit management has prevented the effective use of these schemes. Awareness creation, tight regu regulation, and more security, security can ensure the effective usage of such loan schemes. So I, uh, I think I have a two minutes or three minutes, right? Uh, <laughs> Can so you, I, uh, I have to go another, uh, I think, special okay, one. This end, one is special please. one. Give me the one minute, please. Universal access to, to sexual and reproductive health. That is, I think, the most important thing. Minutes for this only. Yeah. <laughs> you, all know, you all know about uh, the universal access to sexual, uh, sexual and reproductive health. Therefore, I am not going to define the whole definition, right? Okay. Sexual and reproduction rights status in Sri Lanka. According to the country profile on universal access to the sexual and reproductive rights in Sri Lanka, these services must be prioritized uh, mainly around maternal and child health and family planning. The uh, median age and first marriage has declined from around 25 to 23 years while the total Fertility rate has increased from 2.1 to 2.13. Sri Lanka maternal mortality rate, that is MMR, stands at 32.5 for every 100,000 live birth as recorded by the Family Health Bureau. Further uh, data from 2013 indicates that 99.9% .9 of the old births were individual delivers and only 0.1% of all delivers are conducted by the untrained personnel. Thank you, Mr. So Hector. Can I do the conclusion? Please yes. hurry up because uh, we are uh, run uh, okay. on time. The, the finish. Thank you. Uh, conclusion, Sri Lanka has made considerable advance, uh, advancement in the provisions of the women empowerment gender equality and health size. Yet, however, there are some improvements must be done relating to these main things, especially the health policies currently in place need uh, to strengthen uh, through the development of inclusive sexual and reproductive health policies. These policies should ensure the availability of service without discrimination on the grounds of sex gender, age, race, marital status, and other factors. In addition to that, the implementation of policies to address the allocation of sufficient human and financial resources and implement and monitor current health policies. It has also been identified that more efforts uh, should be made to improve communication between men and women on issues of sexuality and reproductive health. Uh, thank you very much. My first presentation in APB.
uh, ADPA and <laughs> other organizations here. Thank, Thank you very you. much for you. Thank you very much. وبسعدنا انه هو حيوزع نسخه من كل المعلومات اللي قدمها والبرزنتيشن كامل موجود بس المستر هكتور يعني ثبت لدي نظريه انه ما تعطي النائب مايك بدون ما يكون عندك قدره على ايقافه الان الكلمه لسعاده الدكتور كوسوموتو المدير التنفيذي والامين العام للجمعيه الاسيويه للسكان والتنميه معك 15 دقيقه سيد كوسوموتو تفضل بليز فلور از فور يو اوكي ثانك يو فيري ماتش فيرست اوف اول اي دايركت انتروديوس ماي سيلف اند ماي اورجانيزيشن ميني اوف ذا بيبل هاف ا كويشن ابوت واي APDA is doing the, this meeting in uh, Arab Africa and all over the world. And then, uh, my name is Osamu Kusumoto, Executive Director and Secretary General of APDA. APDA means Asian Population and Development Association. But now we are doing so many activities in Arab Africa and uh, uh, Asia. Then we need to be changed just APDA. A means all A. <laughs> First of, hi, first of all, I'd like to express my, sincere exp uh, express my sincere thanks to Morocco Parliament, UNFP uh, ASRO, under the leadership of Dr. Loai, and as a supporter for implementing this program. APDA was established at 1982 as a supporting organization for parliamentarians' activities on population development. That moment, Asian region and the Americas and the global committee was established. Therefore, APD was a mother organization of parliamentarians' activities. FAPPD in 1997 in Cape Town, IPFPD 2000, present EPF was also established under the initiative of Japanese parliamentarians. APD support this establishment as a secretariat. I was a participant of ICPD Cairo as a special assistant to ICPPD Secretary General and Steering Committee Chairman and draft the Parliamentarian Declaration on ICPD, uh, ICPPD, International, Parliament, International Conference of Parliamentarians on Population and Development. Mr. Sharma is also the participant of the Cairo. <laughs> it was strongly reflected into the preamble and the principle of the ICPD. Most of the Cairo participant was already retired. I am a called, I'm, someone called me as a dinosaur. I think these nickname, nicknames mean survival of last generations. Yeah. <laughs> Under my understanding, Cairo meeting was defined as a conference on population and as a sustainable development. Therefore, ICPD preamble and the principle is really reflected into the SDGs. I think ICPD prepares the SDGs. As a principle of the parliamentarian activities, and uh, this is a uh, basic issues. Now the Cairo document is a so-called value on the some kind of rights document. But I check exactly the contents. And the reproductive rights is only appeared 19 times. As of 12 is a note on the reservation. Another four is a title. Only three sentences define the reproductive rights. I just uh, checked exactly and carefully. I fully understand and fully support that this Cairo defined reproductive rights. As a parliamentarians, as a principle of the parliamentarians' activities, value issues will not be discussed. This is a, some kind of funding principle when they, it was starting in 1974. Because parliamentarians are the difference of the people and several value and religions. If we talk about the value itself, it will make a no substantial outcome, just a discussion. As you know, the present society is confronting each other, such as pro-life and pro-choice. But this kind of confrontation will not create common understanding. Because this is just a confrontation between the value and the value. It cannot be solved with another value. <laughs> then our pioneer parliamentarians has a wisdom that we need to talk about, uh, we need not talk about the value itself, but we can talk about the practical measures for realizing that values. <laughs> not talk about the value itself, but we need to talk about uh, several measures that secure that value is most effective. This is the founding philosophy of the parliamentarians' activities. Then I just uh, repeat or as reconfirm the philosophy of the parliamentarians' activities that APD keeping and 
I start my task for these teams. Let's start my session. <laughs> and today, I'd like to talk about the implication of aging and how can we achieve the sustainable development. I would like to focus on the action need to take in the future. As you all know, our planetary ecosystem is finite. Coupled with population growth and the increase of living standard, the impact of human society on environment is beyond what nature can absorb. In 2015, Agenda 2030 and its SDGs was adopted as a concrete global based on the common understanding that our human society cannot be sustained as it is. Therefore, without a stabilizing population, sustainable development will not be able to achieve. The the, this the population is stabilized by the process called demographic transition, that is, shifting from high birth rate and high death rate to high birth rate and low death rate, and then low, low, low birth rate and low death rate, low death rate. Demographic transition consists of two processes. One is mortality transition, another one is fertility transition. Population explosion, which become a major, became a major problem in the 20th century, occur in this process. If the decline of the birth rate and the death rate is coincident, population will not be increased. However, mortality decline is faster than the de uh, fertility decline because mortality rate can be improved by the science and appropriate medical services. On the other hand, the fertility transition process is more complicated. Fertility is a result of the choice and action of the people. Therefore, fertility transition requires changes of action, which in turn require change of the social value. Population growth is a phenomenon that occurs during this time. Therefore, measures against the population growth is simply an effort to cross this time lag. If mortality rate declines, fertility naturally follows the process, resulting in leaving a certain age group in the population to account for a large proportion. Such lump is called cohort as it characterized as a baby boom, youth barge, or population division, and finally aging. This diverse aspect of the population currently seen in each region of the world are caused by the, di the differences in the progress of this demographic transition and age group of the cohort. The Arab region has the largest youth co cohort. This can be regarded as an assert because by providing them with adequate education and employment opportunities, countries from this region can benefit from the demographic dividend for its development. Nevertheless, after 40 years of demographic dividend, the cohort will age. <laughs> this is a process of aging due to the demographic transition, and it is unavoidable if a country strives to sustainable, achieve the sustainable development. More importantly, However, if countries do not take the proper measure for this for population issues for avoiding the problem of aging, they will face more serious challenges. Mm. Take action area is very important. How do we, we how do we deal with the issue of an aging population? Japan has been working on these issues, being the country with the highest aging rate in the world. Undoubtedly, Many of the issues still remain, but many ideas have already been proposed. For instance, people who are able to and willing to work are encouraged to do so regardless of age and conditions. This way, elderly people will be a driving force for development and revitalization of society. These opportunities improve the health of, health of the elderly while promoting their social participation. But such practice requires changing of social system and utilizing technology. From such perspective, Japan's government has formulated as a policy called promotion of dynamics engagement for, of all citizens. In order to realize this, we need to change our preconception about industry and labor. There are no young, low-wage workers that once exist in abundance. <laughs> Instead, there are elder workers, but since they cannot do much, 
physical and manual labor as the same way as young people do. AI and robot technology can be used. Even the field that we have been considered typical labor intensive industries such as nursing care are also shifting to AI and robot initiatives. Also careful consideration is necessary to prevent such effort from being compulsory. This is one of the most effective strategies for dealing with aging so society. The era of advanced technology open up new business opportunities. So we do not need to Need, need to be too pessimistic. Of course, need to be pessimistic, but not too much. Population is society itself. Population changes are social changes. As I mentioned earlier, mortality transition is achieved through the improvement of medical science, technology, and services. But fertility transition cannot be addressed just by the medicine or technology. Parliamentary have a distinct role in the fertility transition. In order to achieve this, it is not enough to achieve universal access to reproductive health services, but public awareness, social economic policy planning, and the realization of social economic development are indispensable. Such effort can be made to realize reproductive rights defined in ICPD program of action, especially in developing countries, reducing unwanted uh, pregnancies through universal access to reproductive health, we read the realization of reproductive rights. We can say that the same reproductive rights problem exists in the developed countries facing serious aging issues. For example, Japan's current TFR is 1.42, 2019 estimation, which is not enough to maintain a society. This phenomena is known as the second trans demographic transition. The Japanese government sets the goal of achieving TFR 1.8, which is deemed by experts as impossible. But even if it is achieved, population will continue to decrease. The decline of population is not a problem in terms of environmental impact, but it will lead to rapid aging and it will take away the time for society to respond to challenges in its demographic structures. In part, Japan aging has been caused by an increase of life expectancy due to the improvement of the health status of elderly. But more importantly, it was caused by extremely low fertility rate. As the birth rate is too high or too low, is a major obstacle, obstacle to sustainable development. In that sense, it is fundamentally important to achieve the appropriate balanced fertility rate through the, the third demographic transition by improvement implementing appropriate social economic policies. Oh, unfortunately, no figure is showing. No, no, I, I, I would like to s s explain. Yeah, in many case, the definition of reproductive rights in the ICPD program of action is that the basic rights of all couples and individuals to decide freely and responsibly the number, spacing, timing of their children and to have information and means to do so. From the point of view, it is an important part of reproductive rights that universal access to reproductive health that prevent unwanted pregnancy and that couple who want to have, want children can have children. There is no hopeful future where the children cannot get appropriate education and investment. At the same time, there are no future without children. Considering the role of parliamentarians achieving an appropriate fertility rate is stabilization of young couple hopes, the foundation of social well-being. <coughs> it will be a fundamental countermeasure for the aging society and the most important foundation for sustainable development. For a new era, I thought it was a time to have a new perspective, so I gave my thought. Thank you very much for your kind attention. My paper oh. will be uh, delivered later. Shukran, Sayyid Kusumoto, ala al iktizam bil waqt. Wa saaftah bab al hadith wal mudakhalat li man yargab. Wa arju anna taqayyad bi daqiqatayn li anna aslan badaqna al waqt mutakhirin. Sanabda ma al zamil Simon min Lebanon. Tafadda. أنا مش مدخلة بس سؤال في مجال نحصل على المدخلات تبع 
الاشخاص اللي حكيوا السيد هكتور سيقوم بتوزيع نسخ من البرزنتيشن الكامل عن سريلانكا ولا اعلم اذا كان سيد شريف متوفر لديه برزنتيشن ممكن نحصل عليها Could we have your presentation, Mr. Sharif? Could we have share? Could you have share your presentation? Yes, of course. It's both. Okay. Them. Yeah. Mr. Kosomoto. Yeah. Can we share? Can you share your presentation with the audience? In the in just the papers. Okay. No, no, no. We can have more copies for all. Okay. Okay, okay. All. Yes, thank you. رح نوفر نسخ لكل من يرغب بأخذ برزنتيشن عن العروض الثلاثة التي تم تقديمها. Actually speaking, this time we are not delivered the materials. Okay. It is environmental friendly. We have to keep it. But only one paper. Yeah, yeah. You can see that. Long term democratic yeah, yeah, transition. Yeah. And this is a, my explain is only one pages. Can you okay. understand? <laughs> أوكي لدينا البرزنتيشن كامل من السيد شريف والسيد هكتور ولدينا ورقة تشرح ال long term demographic transition model من السيد كوسوموتو وهي متوفرة سنقوم بتقديمها لمن يرغب حال الانتهاء أي مداخلات؟ yes our colleague شكرا رئيس الجلسة شكرا للسادة الذين داخلوا ثلاث عناوين في منتهى الأهمية الاستثمار في عقل الشباب وتمكين المرأة والشيخوخة وتوازن الخصوبة ويحتاج كل عنوان إلى ساعات طويلة بل إلى أيام طويلة ولكن ضيق الوقت نأخذ العناوين بالنسبة للاستثمار في عقل الشباب وهو بشكل مختصر الشباب كساحة موجودة إن لم تقم الدولة بملء هذه الساحة سيأتي طرف آخر يملء هذه الساحة وهي وهي خطر عدم استثمارها كالبارود كالبارود يجب علينا الانتباه وإن لم تكن توازي في مفعولة تمكين المرأة فقد تفوق أو تزيد عن الانتباه لواقع الشباب يمكن استثماره في أمور بناء الدولي ويمكن استثماره إذا كان أحد آخر لا يريد حب هذا الوطن أو الدولي استثماره في الخراب كما تشهد الحروب الآن أما النقطة الثانية بتمكين المرأة على سبيل المثال نحن كان لدينا منظمة في سوريا اسمها الاتحاد النسائي جميع ما يعمل فيها هو بالعنصر الإناث قمنا بحل مؤخرا قمنا بحل هذه المنظمة أو هذا الاتحاد النسائي لماذا؟ لأن شملنا المرأة في جميع مفاصل المنظمات الشعبية في جميع مفاصل الحكومة على سبيل المثال نائب رئيس جمهورية رئيس مجلس شعب 30 مقعد في البرلمان السوري 3 وزراء مجالس مدن وقرى وبلدات إذا قطعنا أصوات كبيرة وفي في ظل هذه الظروف هي ما تزرع رأس عملة وفي المقدمة وبين هلالين بين هلالين ننادي بالمساواة بالمرأة نحن في سوريا النقطة الأخيرة الشيخوخة وتوازن الخصوبة هذا موضوع ايضا في في امس الحاجه ولكن يحتاج الى جهود دوليه وليس الى جهود دوليه فقط لوحده يحتاج الى بذل الكثير الكثير في هذا المجال واذا اخذنا مقارنه بين نسبه الخصوبه بين دول الوطن العربي ودول اسيا مع الغرب نلاقي شرخ شرخ كبير في دول اوروبا ودول الغرب بهذه النقطه نحن قطعنا بها اشواط ولكن يجب علينا الاستمرار والحفاظ على هذا الوضع الطبيعي مع امكانيه الاهتمام الاكثر في هذا المجال شكرا واسف على الاطاله شكرا تعليقا على اللي حكى عن المواضيع الثلاثه المهمه بحكي الشباب والمراه والشيخوخه وتوازن الخصوبه بس ما تغلبوا على الغداء المغربي <تصفيق> كلنا كلنا سطلنا بعد الغداء المغربي <تصفيق>
working women. So I would like to know what the government is doing on this, sir. And are the wages are equal to men of the women? Because this is the biggest disparity between the wages. Women are generally paid less than the men. They must be working uh, equally hard. So what is the position of uh, that in your country? Thank you. Uh, Rasmiya? No, no. After all the questions, please. Yeah. Thank you, all the speakers. Of, uh, of Thank you, all speakers, uh, and uh, you respect uh, Hector. يعني أنا بدي أبدأ بالسؤال اللي حكى هكتور إنه why need of human empowerment يعني فعلا إحنا في كل المؤتمرات التمكين الاقتصادي العالمية أو اللي عسوا أو الإقليمية دائما بنركز على إيش اللي إحنا نحتاجه من تمكين المرأة أو إيش المخرجات اللي نتوصل إلها لما من تمكين المرأة كثير إنه المؤتمرات تبقى حبر على ورق وهذا الإشي إحنا دائما بنشوفه مشاركاتنا في المؤتمرات إنها بتبقى التوصيات دون تنفيذ غير ذلك إنه بدي أحكي إنه بالنسبة للشباب يعني كل دول دائما نشوف انه نسبة الشباب خاصة في دولنا انها يعني نسبة باعتبار جيدة جدا في المناطق لكن انهم هم بظلهم ينظروا انه احنا كالحجارة على قارعة الطريق يعني في مستبعدين من التنمية مستبعدين من الاهتمام مستبعدين حتى في التمكين السياسي يعني خاصة في الأنظمة والقوانين الانتخابية أو الـ أو الـ كافة المحافل كثير لازم نتنبه إنه إحنا الشباب في العالم إنه أكثر نحكي إنه الثورات أو اللي بتقوم أو الآن خاصة بعصر السوشيال ميديا بنشوف إنه الشباب هو العنصر الفعال فيها والشباب هو اللي بيقود هو اللي بيتزعم أكثر الاعتصامات وأكثر المظاهرات في كثير من قضايا الدولية أو الدولية أو المحلية على مستوى الدول نقول إنه إحنا دائما إنه إحنا بنحتاج مو لمؤتمرات كمان المزيد من المؤتمرات بقدر ما إنه إحنا نلتقي على الأهداف اللي إحنا حابين نحققها من التمكين الاقتصادي والسياسة عمر ما كان التمكين الاقتصادي مو موازي للتمكين السياسي لانه احنا اذا احنا مكنا الشباب اقتصاديا فهي بتكون لهم اصلا الفرصه متاحه انهم يكونوا متمكنين سياسيا شكرا شكرا نائب رسمية من الاردن السيده ثريا من المغرب شكرا السيده الرئيسه انا اشكر السيد من سريلانكا على انه رجل ويتكلم ويدافع عن المراه ويدافع عن تمكين المراه هذا <تصفيق> 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 هذا شيء ايجابي بامتياز لاننا دائما كنشوف ان الرجل المراه هي من تتكلم على المراه ولكن هنا كنشوف ان الرجل هو من يتكلم عن المراه بحراره و ب يعني بواحد الطريقه يعني قويه اه ايوه باهتمام ملفت يعني شكرا حسب العرض ديالك كنشوفوا ان التجربه ديال سريلانكا هي تقريبا تشابه تجربه المغرب لان كنشوفوا ان المراه الان في الجامعه احتلت واحد المراكز المراه في في المدارس احتلت مراكز عليا المراه في المدارس العليا هناك نسبه كثير من النساء ولكن مع الاسف في مراكز القرار وفي مراكز المسؤوليه هناك نسبه قليله هنا كاين واحد الازدواجيه كاين تفوق والنجاح ولكن اتخاذ القرار دائما بيد الرجل هنا لماذا لاننا كنعرفوا بلي هناك هناك عقبات ان الحياه الاسريه هي كتمنع المراه من احتلال المراكز المسؤوليه لان بعض المرات كيكون هناك اجتماعات كتكون التزامات هنا كيف نفكر ان المراه يعني يكون هناك توازن بين الحياه الاسريه والحياه العمليه لان مهما مهما كانت المراه مسؤوله فكتبقى انها ربت اسره وكتبقى انها مسؤوله عن الاسره بجانب الرجل ولكن اكثر شيئا ما من الرجل كذلك نشوف ان المراه في القريه هي مع الاسف اقل حظا من المراه في المدينه وخا كيكونوا بعض المرات هناك برامج تشجيعيه للمراه في القريه ولكن مع الاسف كل ما تجنيه المراه فهو يبقى دائما بيد الرجل يعني هناك كاين المراه تعمل والرجل يحصل 
مع مع الاسف كذلك يعني العمل موجود ولكن الحقوق لا تراعي المجهود مجهودات العمل ولا تراعي كذلك مقاربه النوع اما من ناحيه الشباب كنشوفوا ان الشباب الاستثمار في الشباب هو الاستثمار على يعني في المستقبل اذا استثمرنا في الشباب اليوم يعني هو استثمار على مدى 40 50 سنه يعني هنا الاستثمار في الشباب يخصو ياخذ واحد المكانه التي تستحقها كذلك الاستثمار في يعني الشيخوخه كنعرفوا بلي ان يعني سن الامل يعني يعني الناس تعيش اكثر 80 سنه 90 سنه كاين وهنا كان شو ايوه <تصفيق> لا يعني نسبه الحياه ان شاء الله على هذه نسبه الحياه يعني في نسبه الحياه هي في في اكثر كنشوفوا 70 سنه 80 سنه كيف نستثمر في هؤلاء الشيوخ يعني بعد 60 40 64 سنه الانسان لازم يعطاء يعني خبرات كيف نستثمر في هذه الخبرات وكيف يمكننا ان نوفر لذلك الشيخ ان يعيش في كرامه يعني هنا الاثنين نستفيد من الخبرات ونوفر له العيش الكريم وشكرا شكرا شكرا ثريا anyone want to add anything yes indonesia yes thank you very much his colleague from japan It's very interesting about the edging <laughs> I think it's the very serious issues for the future, edging, because uh, like in uh, myself, my mom have, uh, have the eight children, and all the children take care of mom and dad, but my mama and my father, and then all of my generation, they have uh, two children, yeah. and two children take care of two parents. Mm -hmm. We talk about the economic, for the future is very serious problem. And I want to uh, know about the experience from Japan. Now uh, you have a problem with the uh, too many retired people there. And that means it's too money you use for the retired people. And how the strategy of the Japan to take care of this problem, for example, insurance. You uh, ask uh, all the people in Japan to uh, take the insurance for the old or all the cover by the government money. So I think so, like Indonesia, Indonesia before is too many children for the one family. Now only two, one, and all parents already become old and these children take care and they can't go to the uh, making money. They take care for the children, uh, parents, and how come for the future? I want to know about the strategy. You have the regulation for that. Maybe Japan can uh, share with us. I think this is a very serious issues to discuss about this. And we can address also this one issues in the ICPD and the Nairobi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very interesting question. Sayyid <laughs> Suhail. In Tunis. In Tunis, yeah. Thank you for all the questions. We want to talk about the questions. الزميل الياباني اسامو كوسوموتو هو بصراحه معناها طريقه التذرق نتاعو من النوادر نعتبرها معناها هذا اخذها من ناحيه سوسيولوجيه وحسابيه كذلك يمكن حتى صعب الفهم نتاعها وتفادى الدخول في موضوع الجاف من الناحيه الفلسفيه البحثه والدينيه وكذا موضوعي معناها مهم نعتبر معناها القراءة ما عطاني البارح عندي يكون حظ على غير قرأت المقال نتاعه اللي نشره وبصراحة معناها دراسة مهمة جدا. أنا نحب نحكي على موضوع معناها الولادة ونسبة الولادة في البلدان نتاعنا في البلدان خلينا نقولوا في البلدان العربية وغير العربية كذلك تقريبا حتى كانت الأخت من الفلبين جبت على نفس الحكاية. أنا نحب نع... فما إشكالية كبيرة لازم نتطرق لها اللي هي معناها صحيح اللي احنا نحو نتجاه نحو معناها ليميتيشن تخفيض العدد نتاع الولادات في العالم ومن حق المرأة في هذا بطبيعة الحال ولا حد يناقش هذا المجال ولكن من ناحية ثانية كذلك إذا نفكروا في موضوع اللي هي معناها نسبة الهرم نتاع الموجود في بلداننا أنا عشنا في تونس بالذات نحب نعطيكم تجربة خاصة احنا في تونس 
اشتغلنا على معناها تحديد النسل بالضبط كانت برمجه من سنه من الستينيات اشتغلنا على البرمجه نتاع تحديد النسل ووصلنا معناها تقريبا الى نسبه تضاهي معناها النسب الاوروبيه 2.4 في الولادات واكتشفنا اخيرا ان عندنا مشكله كبيره هي مشكله الناس اللي تخرج في التقاعد الاجيال اللي موجوده اللي كانت هي تشارك معناها في في تمويل الصناديق الاجتماعيه للتقاعد لا تستطيع ان تمولها كانت قبل تقريبا التمويل 8 الى 1 متقاعد الان نزلنا الى 4 وحتى 3 الى 1 متقاعد وهذه مشكله كبيره معناها ممكن بلدان ما لسه ما ما ما, ما شافتهاش وما حستهاش ولكن لازم في توازن معناها وذا يمكن حتى نحكي فيها طيب جدا نحكي في موضوع معناها تحديد النسل متفقين في هذا ويخافوا على العالم بدا يكبر و... و... ولكن من ناحيه ثانيه كذلك نفكروا كذلك في المتقاعدين نساء ورجال اللي هما اشتغلوا حياتهم كامله وهما في حياتهم دفعوا معناها اخذوا من الرواتب نتاعهم لكي يدفعوا معناها حق المتقاعدين في في ايام ولكن اليوم من سيدفع جميل جدا ان نضع معناها قوانين حقوقية ولكن ننسى كذلك اللي فما ناس معناها لها الحق كذلك في الحياة وفي في في عيشة كريمة بعد 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 التقاعد نقطة معناها أنا نحب كان ندخلها كذلك في إطار معناها الديسكشن متاعنا على مستوى وتدخل في البوبيليشن وفي في حقوق الإنسان كذلك وشكرا شكرا هل هنالك أي مداخلات إضافية طيب يلا طبعا شكرا للجميع المحاضرات القيمة بس هذا الموضوع بده نقاش الفكرة فيه كان من تحديد النسل انه عندك ريسورسز محدودة في العالم ريسورسز المحدودة في العالم حتى انه العالم الناس تعيش بكرامة كلها لازم يكون ما يكفي للناس لتعيش بكرامة ولكن هذا لا ينفي انه ممكن انت تطور اشياء تانية في المرحلة المراحل القادمة عدد ساعات العمل للإنسان راح تقل ولكن راح يشغل هذا ممكن الماشينز الروبوتس الأشياء زي هذه راح تشغل هذا الحيز هلا في حال أنت عندك يفترض أن يكون في دراسة في كل بلد في عندك توازن على الأقل ما بين الإمكانيات اللي بتدخل واردات الدولة وما بين تغطية هذه ودراسات يعني مستفيضة للأمام أنت بتحدد وقتها قديش العدد ولكن في حال عدم توفر متر هاي البيانات مرات هي بتكون انتحار فبدها إعادة دراسة بشكل جيد ولكن هذا لا ينفي أنه لازم يكون في عندنا تحديد للنسل ليس تحديد النسل فكرة فيه فقط أنه أنت بتحكي على الديموغرافيك بيرسبكتيف لحاله أنت بتحكي كمان على الانديفيدوال بيرسبكتيف وعلى المومن بيرسبكتيف جندر بيرسبكتيف يعني أنت بدك تدرسها من عدة أشياء أنا ما بقدر مع تيحش الإكوال أبورشونيتيز للبوث سكسس وبعدين اجي اقول الست الى الخلف يعني يجب انه اعمل انا كمان الفرصه اللي تتيح للمراه أن تكون فعاله ولكن ليس ايضا على حسابها اذا ما ضمنتش حقوقها في مثلا بتذكر صديقه الي من بلجيكا حكت كان في عندها دراسه عايش اسمه 4 باي 4 انه يقسموا الاسبوع اربع ايام عمل للرجل اربع ايام عمل للمراه يبقوا عند الاولاد في يوم يقعدوا مع بعض في بدون عمل هذا اسمه فور باي فور هذه حلول ممكن تكون ذات جدوى ولكن مش على حساب المرأة مثل ما هو موجود عندنا شكرا شكرا على المداخلة المهمة سحر وأنا بالحقيقة بدي أحكي على موضوع الشيخوخة والتقدم في العمر أذكر أنه قبل يعني أيام أسابيع محدودة في الأردن قمنا بتعديل قانون الضمان الاجتماعي فكان أحد التعديلات هي القدرة من يعني أن نتيح للمشتركين في الضمان الاجتماعي أن يسحبوا من الرصيد الادخاري لغايات تعليم أبنائهم أو لغايات الصحة وكان لدي تحفظ كبير على هذا الموضوع لانني كنت اعتقد بانه نحن بذلك يعني قد نؤثر على قدره هؤلاء الاشخاص في مراحل متقدمه تكون القدره فيها على الانتاج اقل قدرتهم على الحصول على حياه كريمه 
وفي مخاطره ومجازفه كبيره في في يعني في موضوع تامين الشيخوخه اللي المفروض انه يحفظ حياه كريمة للأفراد بعد سن معين أنا رح أعطي ممكن نبدأ بالعكس إذا سمحتم نبدأ من السيد كوسوموتو ومن ثم نكمل المداخلة تفضل Thank you very much and I think this is a very 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 deep discussion required and also the basically speaking in the population issues research itself is not so much developed unfortunately and in the past this is mainly uh, considered as some kind of the medical aspect like a mortality transition research was done but in the fertility research transition is not really examined my professor, and Dr. Kuroda, who was a unit population award lieutenant, uh, is a assert about some kind of economical demographic transition. And some according to the economic development, then the uh, fertility will be declined. This is his hypothesis. But he, when I am teaching under the class, he said, oh, Mr. Kusumoto, I have uh, facing difficulties. Because in China, Sichuan province has uh, not so much economically, GDP is very low. But the fertility is going to be declined. My hypothesis cannot be applicable for this. I answered to the, my professor, oh, it is not so difficult because uh, but money itself is not uh, some kind of the only condition for the fertility transition. But value set of the people is a modernization of the value set is uh, some kind of causes of the fertility decline. This is, can be e easy to e examine some kind of the figures. What I uh, published in my PhD thesis, unfortunately only Japanese, but uh, in that case, it can be seen the some kind of the relationship of the demographic transition index and the GDP per capita dot uh, marking by the dot, by the countries. And like Japan, the normal country is going to be a log, log curves, but in the, for oil producing companies, countries, if they have a money, their attitude not changes. <laughs> and this is a clearly we can show. And the contrary, for the uh, communist countries and the former communist countries, they are socially developed. Therefore, they can be response very quick. And this can we, and the Asian case can be defined, these three cases. But this is only a first uh, analysis all over the world. It's then done by me. But uh, only in Japanese, nobody knows about this outcome. <laughs> but this is another thing. In any case, and, um, I cannot say about everything uh, in this occasion, but I can say something. But uh, according to the, my hypothesis, fertility transition is uh, some kind of causes by the, some kind of the modernization, like uh, some rational uh, attitude. Mm -hmm. But rational is a question. What is rational? And uh, now the people in Japan, and they are thinking about our pension system and everything is prepared. Then without the children is a profitable for them. But in that time, basement of the pension system is missing. And the population issues can be say one word. And as the economics, uh, economics, economics says that some kind of fallacy of composition. Someone's individual, a most uh, favorite choice, collectively makes a worse of the society. In the developing uh, country, who is suffering from the population increase, and there are usually no need to have an uh, investment of children. If they are becoming the six, five years or 10 years, they can go to the farm and get the money. Mm. It is good for the parents. And they don't have any social securities. And uh, many of the children have uh, some kind of increased opportunity to surviving the, their elderly. In the contrary, in Japan, and uh, many of the young people thinking nationally, but they are not thinking long-term rationality. Then they are thinking about their own and uh, short-term rationality. But when he re they realize and the pension system can be sustained or not, his investment is missing. And then the population issues can be think, need to be think about the long-term perspective. In that time, how can we realize? In that time per perspective, uh, reproductive rights is very important for achieving the, some kind of avoiding the unwanted pregnancy for the uh, developing countries, uh, 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 young people, is also the, some kind of practical measure, most important measure for re realizing reproductive rights. Simultaneously, Japan's young people cannot have a children if they wish to want, want to have. In that time, how can we make uh, some kind of conditions and they can be getting the married and getting the uh, delivered children during their young moment? 
if they become to get the married after 40 years, it's very difficult to get the children. <laughs> yeah, this is a no, Japanese society becoming the normal. Mm. In the, but now the Japanese young people's mentality, we need to prepare everything and the status, income, everything, but impossible. Mm. Mm. Like my case, I might get married in the student of the graduate school, graduate school and my wife is working. I'm not thinking in the, this kind of the uh, national thinking. I believe that timing is more important, but young people do not thinking like this. They are secure their position. This kind of thing under the modern concept is more important than, no <laughs> yeah, no family support. In Japanese case, no family support. Therefore, we need to, ha this is a not any case, healthy society. We need to think about uh, fertility, I say, say, revitalization requires some kind of the normal. What is normal is very difficult, like a family support, and mutual support, regional support, community support. This kind of support is required. Sometimes mm -hmm. say, some women, when we see the student of the university getting married and deliver the children, two, three years uh, so, uh, time uh, uh, pending the schooling, and then he see back to the university. It's also possible. Japanese need to be changed, this kind of concept, I think, if we need to be sustained our society. <laughs> then, in uh, any case, in a, in a question from the Indonesia, and the night, no money can be produced. <laughs> then uh, Japanese are uh, uh, paying the pension ages, going to be up, 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 up. When the Japanese starting the pension, at that time, the average life expectancy is only uh, 50. And the pension start 55. Then the money is so much is uh, remaining because for the mm, yeah the five years if I but 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 now yeah now sixty five going to be seventy but the, our longevity is a mod, uh, model this rate is a ninety four for the women yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we going to be a single in that time the high half of the high income should be separate to deposit as a patients is it possible or not possible but. We need to be clearly shows about this kind of fact to the young people. And to make some kind of rational decision to support getting married and to have children, they can be some kind of the, first we need to be, uh, they, we, are, we, are not, we cannot be force anything to the young people. But according to economically rational, I say, say mechanism is required. In the time, half of the income should be uh, some deposit as uh, some kind of pensions. But in case of married, in Japanese, married couple have uh, around uh, two children, replacement level. In that case, and that uh, accumulation that taking out from the salary to the pension is uh, maybe half or one third of that. In that kind of, some kind of rational economic system or pension system is required, but Japanese already introduced this kind of system. It's very difficult to, I say, say changing the system. How can we, I say, mitigate about the shocks in between from the a previous system, previous, uh, previous such as demographic structures to present structure. This is uh, maybe a parliamentary tasks, but I uh, present uh, this kind of idea through the, some kind of advertisement of the parliamentarians, uh, some kind of our organ magazine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Shukran. Uh, Hector, you want to answer? Yeah, the this is, I think, uh, all uh, members of parliament, they're asking about uh, the what is the government is doing in Sri Lanka is for the, uh, especially for women. Actually, there is a, there is a, in, in, in government sector, there is a, uh, the parliament members and uh, that is, uh, that is we are calling the, the, the Palat Sabha, that means there is a local government and uh, provincial council. That's the three of them. The local government, we, uh, the, the last year, uh, we had a special, discussion about the women, they are given 25% members are in the local government women. 25%, 25% by, reg by regulation. So then 25% women are there, that is, that's big problem to us, because you know why they are all, all, always like you and asking so many things from the, from the government and the local uh, authority also. Uh, that, that is another thing, but that way, the, the, the government try to starting the new system to the bring the uh, the, the the women's uh, that uh, that that means uh, the normally that uh, we have to grow the women's uh, earn systems so they try to do that that way that means that uh, the society 
that women can make themselves their society that like uh, you know the starting new jobs sometimes the uh, new factories the new sy system to like uh, in uh, what is we need in sri lanka uh, the markets so they, they 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 can they can examination that all and they can support to the women even other other thing is uh, normally in a rural area that is different if they go to the agriculture the agriculture means that that people no need too much money to live their styles because their style is different to the urban urban they have many expenses for the ladies even the family but rural area they don't have that that much of expenses so they they can manage if they are doing well understanding the agriculture they are doing well but government will support to them that means sometimes they 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 have to give some uh, the funds for them to the the the, the growing that uh, the agriculture uh, the the systems and the markets especially markets especially markets and uh, the nationally and internationally and the migrants then that means uh, the for the foreign jobs so we try to starting now for males not for the women so the migrant that don't that migrant means not only the national that the rural is not only going to the urban they are going to outside to work that's why i said that, that uh, uh, two or pages are here you can see after that uh, when you received the, this paper then uh, they have that that things then they 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 go nice outside we are trying to stop them we try to professionals want to send the outside that the male special so that way we try to uh, that means uh, that give the security for the women and the, the, their their family planning and all we can help that way also so otherwise the 70 years old not only the women and women also we are the, the government paid money every monthly at the sri lanka rupees 2000 rupees for them as a fee for the living not the living that means but in sri lanka system the style is different to i think to japan and other countries because sri lanka if it if even like uh, the daughter he more than 30 years 35 years old also for family that, that is daughter like a small one they are calling like that way uh, like uh, the, the parents are always like to do all whole thing to the daughter as a small daughter from if go to the elderly like a 30 years 40 years old that is that is our our our, our uh, human styles in uh, sri lanka and their habits and the, the, the from from beginning also now same things and uh, other way that uh, that normally in some fisheries sector fisheries sector also they there is a problem to the the the, the women because uh, the all fishermen are going every night to the sea they are coming in the morning sometimes uh, like uh, eight o'clock in the morning every night they are outside in the daytime the family all people in the house that is like uh, they don't have enough uh, uh, enough time to do anything about their uh, family life sometimes you know that we, we we have to stop something that way but but normally we have to do that then other another things we are looking about the tourism first because you know why this sri lanka is very beautiful country and the island and if you go there you can see it is a very very beautiful country you can you can take at one time the cold weather and hot weather hot weather you can get uh, 30 centigrade in colombo area if you go to hill country same time after two hours maybe you have to run there so uh, the, after two hours maybe if you go to the hillside that is like a seven ten centigrade that same time that that type of country in sri lanka so tourism we are looking but 30 years we faced the war in sri lanka that is finished now it's okay but after that nearly this year we face that is another disaster you know that uh, that 
the terrorism or did uh, the destroyed our uh, Catholic Church with the people. Over 300 people so died that time, and more than 300 there, there's a casualties there. So after that, we are preparing all the countries, we are changing all. Uh, the security system changing, and uh, the, the economic systems are changing. So we are looking more tourism sector, the developing in the country in the future. The tourism system is come to the country is more than now. It will be uh, very helpful to the women. Because you know why? The areas by area, they can start themselves. They are like uh, their own jobs there for the tourism, for the tourist. There are so many things there. According to the food, so the, the agriculture also, there's some, some, some shops and uh, some kind of uh, that, that Sri Lanka made something. Then other uh, things, the transportation and uh, some kinds of uh, the, the, the guide systems. So all uh, uh, included they can do, but, but the government is trying, but I, I, I don't think it's enough. We have to improve more. I think in the future, we are trying to do the more improve uh, for the helping women, so not only that, uh, okay. most of the children. I think, uh, I don't know my English is, is good or not for you, uh, the, my, under, my explaining is, good, I think. Good, excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. For Thank you very much. Uh, on a, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, First, I would like to thank uh, all of you because it's my fifth or sixth time I am participating in this kind of conference. It's first time we have so close, so hard discussion because there are very, 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 I mean, many, many uh, MPs, women, and <laughs> topics are very, very, def uh, very, 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 very important. Concerning yours, as you... Uh, no, next time... Next <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I would like to ask them to co to, to invite more more women to this. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, come on. And 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 concerning youth policy and investing in youth, you correctly mentioned about uh, that uh, youth could be source of development and uh, youth also could be source of revolution. Therefore, we have to pay more attention to youth and to find a way how to finance different projects. In my country, we are increasing every year by 200,000 people. And uh, for the 9 million, it's very high rate, 2.4% yeah. each year. And we have to create new uh, number of jobs. So, uh, but we cannot do it. We are just uh, uh, have about 70,000 70, or up to 100 thousand jobs and mostly young people has to go abroad for migrants but when they are ag abroad we cannot control we cannot uh, run a good uh, use policy so, so, so they become under different uh, terroristic organization and others it's a it's pity uh, and uh, but we have to have a, uh, find a way how to I don't know how, how to run this uh, use policy in order to gain from this. So let's work on this. And our task as a parliamentarians is to, to come together and find a way how to make our best for our future generation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So uh, shukran. One no, one minute. One word. <laughs> <laughs> one minute or one word. One word. I want to thank uh, for my daughter, because especially the daughter, he sees along make this uh, presentation. Oh. So, she's a woman that. <laughs> you deserve the minute. <laughs> uh, shukran ilku uh, kathiran, shukran la mudakhalatku, uh, walan uh, anhena la anno jilsat et tawsiyat sa tantakil ila al-ghad, takun al-munaqashat qad tamma istikmalha, wa alan al-intilaq, al-musharikin min al-dar al-bayda, sa yakun al-hafilat b-intidarna li al-awda إلى الدار البيضاء شكرا
شكرا هلا فيك اهلا قصتي بس متعبه بعد الغداء المشكله والاكس بارد شوي والله هون عندنا مش بارد هني يضرب بالي بالظهر والله كم غيرتي مكانك ما عليها بكره بتحصل لا ما هو بكره مش هون بالرباط كله بالدار البيضاء كله